What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Grounded Gamer. I am Jay Fonzarelli, and today we've got some big news to go over, so let's dive right in. So this week, of course, is Gamescom week, and because gamers everywhere knew a Gears 5 campaign trailer would be dropping today, we thought that would quite possibly be the highlight of the day. It wasn't. And while that was a good trailer, if you have not checked that out, check out the Gears 5 campaign trailer. It's really good. I'm looking forward to this game personally. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer below. I'd really love to hear what you guys think about it. Anyway, getting on to what I feel was the biggest news of the day. And that, of course, is Cyberpunk 2077 will be on Stadia. That's right, folks. If you have not heard it, you heard it here first. Stadia will have Cyberpunk 2077. And of course, Stadia is the all streaming platform that all of us gamers everywhere are just anticipating. This is what we want from the industry. We want to stream our games. We don't want physical hardware anymore. And I can't even go on. This is definitely not what I believe, and I'm not looking forward to Stadia at all. I like physical hardware, so it, it's not for me. But if it's for you, it's big news for you. If you're a Stadia fan, you're looking forward to the platform, this is what you want to play. You're getting Cyberpunk 2077, quite possibly the best game of next year. We'll find out soon enough. On to the real big news of the day. Now this took everyone by surprise because, well, it came out of left field. Nobody was expecting this today, at least. Now this was first reported on by Jason Schreier of Kotaku. Later, it was confirmed by Sony. And up on your screen now, you see the tweet and it says, big news at Insomniac Games is joining PlayStation's worldwide studios. We are honored and thrilled to join forces with this legendary developer. Please join us in congratulating our friends and partners at Insomniac. And there you have it, folks. The biggest news of the day, and quite possibly the biggest news item to come out of Gamescom 2019. Who knows? But this is huge. Sony has already been known for having great first-party titles, great in-house developers, and now they just add another to their arsenal. Now, what does this mean to the gamer? Well, it means if you're a one-platform guy, and that platform isn't PlayStation, you, my friend, won't be playing the next Spider-Man or any of the other games that they've had over the years. Games like Sunset Overdrive, Ratchet and Clank, Spyro, The Resistance series, and of course, Spider-Man. And those are just a few of the games they've brought out over the years. And uh, again, if you're going to be a one-platform gamer and that platform isn't PlayStation, then you just won't be playing possible future sequels to games like this. Now, what this also means to the gamer is that Sony isn't playing around. They've essentially padded what was already a stellar in-house developing giant, you know, house of just amazing developers there at Sony, and they've just essentially beefed that up with Insomniac, with the Spider-Man franchise. Let's face it, Spider-Man, despite what you may think about the game, it is the biggest selling superhero game there is, and Spider-Man himself is one of the most marketable superheroes that you can have. And uh, yeah, if you're going to want to play the game, you're going to have to buy a PlayStation 5. That's just how it is. Anyways, that's all the news I got for you today. Hopefully more will come out of Gamescom. Stay tuned. Let me know down below what you think about this acquisition by Sony. Let me know what you think about that Gears 5 campaign trailer. It was really good. Let me know what you think about that. And also, you could always let me know what you think about Cyberpunk 2077 also going to Stadia. Or what you think about Stadia in general. Who knows? Or do you even care? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And with that said, until next time. Try to be the best possible you, be kind to one another, and of course, as always, game on.